Hey guys, I'm Songbird. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff around me again, so I'm doing a lot of videos today. In this video, I'm gonna show you the mod that I do to my sneakers. This is a pretty common thing among thru-hikers uh, where they have shoes that aren't ultras, that don't have that built-in gator trap. These are the Brooks Cascadia 12s. These are the brand new ones with a different color, and I'm really excited. They're a lot more interesting than a lot of the green and brown and black shoes that I've worn in the past. What a lot of hikers do is with their trail runners, which are the preferred shoe of choice on trail, they wear these Dirty Girl Gators or something similar on trail to keep the dust and rocks and stuff out of their shoes. So I'm going to do my mod real quick on camera. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put the Velcro on there to work with these. And then I'm gonna put the shoes on and show you how the Gators work to protect your feet. So last year I bought a packet of this stuff and I did my old pair of shoes. You can see here, so I found this in the drawer earlier and I was really glad. Uh, it's a couple bucks, you know, not have to spend it again. And I have so much left over here. So what we're gonna use today is we're gonna use Use the hook side, the more scratchy side, or what's often called the male side of the hook and loop fabric. This fuzzy side, the loop side as it's called, female side, is what we're not going to be using. That is already built into the back of a lot of these gaiters, like the Dirty Girls, so you don't need it. You just need the hook side to be on your shoe so that the loop side sticks to it. All right, so you're going to take the more bristly hook side and you're going to line it up with the back of the shoe, and you want to mark from just underneath there to where the bottom of the shoe starts here with the foam. You can see per shoe, that's all you really use. And that means that a roll of this stuff is gonna go a really long way for you. Now that we have the length for this uh, left shoe here, we're just gonna cut another one to match. Now we've got both of our patches here and these are, you want them to be as big as possible so you can get a lot of surface area for when you attach them and so they don't pop off. And I found that just trimming the corners off of each one of these rectangular pieces makes it much harder for the fabric to get pulled up off of the upper of the shoe over time. So I'm just gonna use my micro again here and I'm gonna trim the corners off like I did on the old pair of shoes. So again, this isn't a crazy weight thing or anything like that. This is just to ensure that these stick better over time to the backs of your shoes. And like I've said, I've done this before and I've never had one come off when I've done it this way. So what I've used before on this pair of shoes and what I found to be the best way of attaching your little strips of Velcro hook here to the backs of your shoes is to actually use this Loctite super glue. Super glue is really easy and it does a very good job of binding to these fabrics. I was a little worried that they wouldn't hold up over time getting wet and having a lot of sun exposure, but it's held up perfectly for me and I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. So there's one shoe down, you can kind of see what it looks like on there. And I'm going to leave that alone for probably a good day just to make sure that it sticks on there perfectly. Now you will have to do this on trail sometimes and you're going to have to super glue things together and a couple of hours will give a good bond but the best bond is going to be if you do not fiddle with it for a really long time. If you have to replace your shoes and do this velcro trick on the backs of your shoes, I would say just go for a day without using your gaiters and give that glue time to cure and make sure that you have a good solid attachment. Don't get them wet or anything in that period of time if you can help it. And that way when you do put your gaiters on, they'll be able to handle the stress of pulling on that glue. Now how I've always done this, and I didn't tell you about this before I did the last shoe, is that I've always put a pretty significant amount of super glue. I trace the border of the strip of fabric here on the back of the shoe. I will do a uh, full border and then I'll do like a zigzag down the middle. And then what I'll do is each one of these little corners here and along the outside perimeter of this hook portion of the hook and loop, I'm going to fully coat the back of it, keeping my finger oils away from it. Well, that time, because of the heat of the sun and uh, the way I was squeezing the tube, it just kind of kept coming out, so I used a little more than usual, but I'm just gonna stick it on there as is. You probably are gonna get a little super glue on your fingers, so just make sure you wipe it on something else that's not skin so that you don't get your fingers stuck together. And often where you don't have an even surface on the back, it's gonna wanna stay straight. So you're gonna have to push it down and kind of hold it there for a second to get it to do what you want it to do. But that said, if they do stay a little stuck out on the sides, you can see on that one probably right there, it's not perfectly flush. It's it's gonna hold, use a lot of super glue uh, as much as necessary, it's, it's gonna stay. Plus on trail, you're not gonna use that super glue again. You can leave it in the hiker box if it seals up properly, put it in a little plastic baggie so it doesn't ruin the other gear in there. 
but uh, you really don't have to worry about it. You can use as much glue as you want. You know, there's gonna be a little left over and you're not gonna use a full tube. So that's both heels done. And uh, despite my warning that I said you should probably wait for a long period of time without stressing these, I'm gonna put these on with the gaiters just to show you how it works and give you an idea of uh, why you might want these. Okay, so here's one of the gaiters. They're uh, what you'd call like ambidextrous. There's no left and right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull them on over your socks, right? Pull them on over your feet and your socks, pull them up like this, get them out of the way. You can see how they stay up here, they're stretchy. I'm just gonna do one shoe here because I don't have socks on and it's kind of hot outside. All right, so the shoes are on. Don't those look beautiful? I'm so excited to wear them on trail. We've got our little Velcro patch on the back and we've got our gaiter up here over our socks and shoes up on our leg. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lower wider portion of the gaiter and you're gonna pull it down over the ankle of your shoe. Now what I normally do first is attach this Velcro portion here on the back of the gaiter. So if you can see that right there, it's that black bar. Stick that onto the Velcro and that holds the back of the gaiter down on the shoe where it needs to stay. And then the front of the gaiter has a little metal loop on it. You can see there the front of the gaiter has this little metal loop on it that hooks into your shoelaces. And you're gonna bring the front of the gaiter down underneath one of the front bars of the shoelaces right here. And then just adjust the fabric so that it isn't above the ankle of the shoe. It will go down below where the shoe ends here. And what that does, it's kind of like shingles on a roof or like a roof on a house. Anything that hits your leg and falls down is gonna go out and around the top of your shoe instead of down in here between your sock and your shoe or down between your sock and your skin, bothering you while you're walking and everything. Little pebbles and sticks and dirt and rocks and things, sand, especially on the beach, will get into your shoe and get down around your toes and get under your feet and it'll either hurt or annoy you or cause blisters over time if you manage to ignore it long enough. These Dirty Girl Gators have done an excellent job for me and they really protect the inside of my shoes. And I've found that my shoes last longer and my feet are more comfortable and less prone to getting blisters when I don't have all that junk getting in constantly. So guys, that's the Dirty Girl Gator and how you attach it to your shoe with super glue and a Velcro patch. I hope this has helped you. I very much recommend this on your hike. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a simple little thing that'll help you guys get a lot of miles and keep a lot of smiles on your faces on your long hikes. If you like the video, if you think it helped you and you want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. There's going to be more videos that I do today on the stuff that I've got right here. So if you want to see that, keep watching. And we are just now days away from hitting the trail again. I'm going to be flying up to DC and driving out towards Harper's Ferry to continue northbound. And I'm very excited to bring you guys videos and clips from the trail, how I use my gear, mentality throughout the day, how to get water from water sources, how to plan your days and stuff like that. I'm very excited to give you that kind of content from the actual AT itself. I'm really happy to be going back out and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So that's all. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.